what, what aspect of that second half uh, was most detrimental? Uh, the fouling um, and the turnovers, both uh, 42 free throws. It's really hard to beat a team on the road. Um, a good team on the road um, while giving up 42 free throws. So just the fouling and, and you know, there, there were there were some where there's not much we can do. Where you know, you know we, we get out of position and they come in, create the contact, but we're we're not set or whatever. But there were plenty where you know foul a three point shooter, bite on a pump fake, um, you know, reach when we don't have to. Um, it's just it's really hard to win um, giving up that many free throws, and then of course you know 20 turnovers. You know. Gave up 26 points off those turnovers. So that's the game right there. It's those two things. Moses Moody was really hot in the fourth and he went away from him. What was kind of the reason? Moses was awesome tonight. Um, you know, we, we needed to get Wiggs on the floor uh, for defense against Fox. Um, and we uh, decided to, to, to go with, with Clay and, and our, our vets. You know, we thought about, um, you know, keeping him out there, but. Um, you know, we, we made the move that we made. He was, by the way, Moses was fantastic. You know, uh, out of the rotation tonight to start the game. Um, talked to him before the game and explained what we were doing. Um, the guy, he reminds me of Lou, um, Moses. He's, uh, he's the ultimate pro. Um, just continues to work every single day and, um, you know, understands, um, embraces, Coaching embraces the work. Um, he, Moses, a, he's a special guy. He's like a you know wing version of, of Loom, and um, and that matters. That's why he's going to be in the league for a long time. Steve, you were talking about getting those starters going. And getting them going. I'm sorry. You're talking about getting those starters going. Yeah. But it looked like the end. They were the ones who weren't getting it done. Yeah. How disappointing is that? Yeah, it's disappointing. You know, um, the. Uh, you know, Sacramento played uh, really hard second half. They came out and really tried to, uh, you know, be physical. Um, and um, so they, you know, we had to play uh, with without Chris, obviously, with the injury. Uh, we had to play our guys a little bit more than we uh, wanted to, uh, minutes-wise. And um, so we, um, we withstood a lot of their uh, rallies and uh, made some big shots, um, did some good things, but... You know, again, the fouling and the turnovers, that's what it comes down to. You guys were up eight when Draymond got the technical and then the subsequent uh, personal foul, you took him out. It didn't seem like you guys were able to get a rhythm since then. How did that affect kind of how you guys, uh, how the wheels kind of fell off down the stretch of the game? Uh, s s say it again. When after Draymond, Draymond came out. And picks up the foul, picks comes up the foul out. and the technical. You yeah. take him out. You guys are up eight. Then it kind of seemed like the wheels were falling off. What happened in your eyes during that stretch after he came off the floor? Well, um, we fouled quite a bit, so they were shooting free throws a lot, and um, you know we had some some decent looks that we didn't knock down. But um, our guys hung tough. You know they came back and took the lead, and then we went back up. I think six, and um, just didn't get it done down the stretch. You got it. You know down the stretch, you got to You got to take care of the ball. And, um, we didn't do that, and um, and then the last play, you know, perfect defense. Uh, Wiggs was fantastic, and um, you know, Monk hits that that tough, uh, you know, toss to the rim, and you know, give give Sacramento credit. They fought like crazy and, and earned the win. Steve, uh, on the challenge there with the the Curry offensive yeah. foul, just what what was the thought process on that? And with one timeout left, you guys didn't get it, and then you didn't have a timeout a, that you, yeah. you could have used. It's a huge play. Um, you know, it's a uh, if we get the if we get the the uh, challenge if if, it, if they um, overturn the offensive foul, uh, Steph's going to the line for three free throws and the game's probably over. So we felt like it was worth it. Um, you know, I think they called him for a kick, but if you're going, you know, to your left and you shoot, you know, your right leg is going to to drift out. We thought Monk went right into him, uh, but they called the offensive foul. You mentioned uh, Chris's injury. What's the severity of that? And uh, and also Gary, he left in the third quarter. Hasn't. Not sure. Not sure. Steve, how can you talk about the following the tournament? How surprised were you by that? Given how well you played, seemed like one of the better halves you played in the first half, at least offensively. First half was great. Um, that's who our team is. You know, two-way team, getting stops, knocking down shots. 
you know, Wiggs was great. You know, Clay got off to a great start as well. And, and uh, you know, with that, with the two big lineup with Draymond and, and Loon, that's what we have to have. And, you know, we have them out there for defense, and um, and then we have to have um, you know our guards and and, and um, you know Wiggs um, knock down shots. So that's our team. And then we come off the bench with you know with Gary and, and Dario, and Chris. I mean, we the blueprint is there. And uh, so I'm really excited about this team. I know it's a frustrating loss, and um, you know I'm sure you know, all our fans are frustrated. We're frustrated, um, but we're gonna have a good team. We're gonna have a good season, but we gotta get better. Do you know a body part on Chris yet? It looks like an issue. Is. No. no. Uh, the two turnovers late. Um, how head scratching is it? You know, it's a step yeah. kind of throwing it to the center field and the dream on one. Yeah, I mean those are those are tough plays, and you know those are um, obviously um, you know two uh, incredible players. So it happens. You know, um, my experience in this league, you have uh, have one gut punch loss a year where you just can't you you will go to the locker room and you cannot believe that you lost the game. Last year we had one of those in Utah, um, and th this one felt like that. Or just. You know, we, we played well enough, um, but I don't look at the, you know, the, those two plays as, as the difference. I look at all the fouling, 42 free throws. Again, um, it's just too difficult to, uh, to win a game in that regard. You mentioned Wiggs in the first half. Um, how significant long-term is the way he played, the way Clay played, and what did they do, do you think, to get that out of the back? Was it just making shots? Yeah, but I mean, you know, We've seen this coming with Wiggs. You know, he had a game like this last week against uh, OKC, I think it was. Um, and um, you know, he's he's really in much better uh, rhythm now, and uh, his defense is is improved, and he's just starting to look like himself. And uh, and the game made sense, especially early on. You know, with our defense turning our defense into offense, and you know, spacing the floor, and, and play shots were much easier there. And, you know, in the first half, and and that's how our team should look. You mentioned how you still like this team even after the, in the mode that you guys.